Um, you know, we got to give Texas some credit. They played an extremely well match, and um, they served the ball really tough, and I think you could tell our passing a little bit fell apart. Um, but, you know, they played great, and we didn't have the best game, so, yeah. Can you tell us what was said in the locker room, the emotions in there right now? Um, not much is said. There's just a lot of tears, but um, we're just really proud of each other. We've had a great season, and uh, this match doesn't really define how our season went. We've lost two matches all game, I mean all season. So um, this match doesn't really define how our season actually went. So we're just really proud of each other and the way that we fought all season to get to this point. It's really hard to get to the championship match, and we did it. So we're proud of each other. Lainey, when did the match kind of flip on you guys? Um, we didn't really have momentum the entire game. We were trying to get ourselves together, but we lost momentum early in the first set and couldn't really regain it. Um, but yeah, just struggled to get it back together. Can you put your finger on why uh, it was such a challenging passing night? Was it their serve or was there uh, an additional factor that contributed to you guys? Um, they, I mean, they do really have great serves. Their serves were moving, they were dropping it, they were putting it where we were not. We've been shifting all season and it wasn't really working today. We weren't communicating great. Um, but I think that passing and serving is contagious, so when you start to struggle, it moves on to the rest of us. With no seniors on the roster, I mean, is there any solace to think, I know it's fresh right now, but in the fact that, you know, everybody's going to be back here and you got this group coming back for another year? Um, yeah, I think that we're all very hungry and we're ready to prove ourselves. We all keep feeling like this, so, um, you know, knowing that the team's going to be pretty much the same next year, we're super ready to go back to work and get back in the gym and come back here next year. I know it's hard to summarize right now, but when you think about the stadium match, the Wisconsin comeback, this run, how would you wrap up the season if you could? Mm, I would say it was just honestly unreal. We battled all year, and we were extremely competitive, and we had every factor that we needed all, all year to get here. Um, and then we got here, we might have fallen, fallen apart a little bit, but um, we stayed together the whole time. And, you know, I don't know. It was just an unreal season, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wouldn't trade the girls for the world. I just think that I'm going to remember this season for the rest of my life. Hey, guys, real quick. We'll have other players that kind of come filter themselves out. So just know that this isn't the only player involved. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, probably, yeah. Landy, can you describe how uh, you guys have always been a pretty close team, but how much those uh, relationships strengthened and tightened as you guys went through the past four months uh, of an incredible season? Yeah, having six new people come in, um, relationships can be difficult to build because people already have relationships built or whatever, but our team did an amazing job. Our staff helped um, do an amazing job of getting us together and building chemistry, and we were so strong throughout the entire year, and you could tell every game that we stepped on the court, we were playing together and we were playing for each other. Um, and even tonight when it wasn't going our way, we were coming in the huddle being positive, going towards each other, making eye contact. Nobody was you know, being rude or anything like that. So our just our relationships really mattered this entire year. What did it mean to wear a Nebraska jersey on, on this big of a stage for you? Um, I would pick wearing a Nebraska jersey over any other jersey in the world. Um, it means everything. And I luckily have three more years to put it back on. So I'm super excited to get back in the gym.